Okay. I'm going to be giving you some general information about uh, emulators, how to set them up, and how to uh, make the games look better. Uh, for life reasons, this will be a temporary but extended sign-off uh, from YouTube. Um, nothing absolutely terrible happened, but I have to get some things uh, sorted out on my end. Um, for putting emulators together, all right, uh, you will need a lot of space. Not a lot, a lot, but you know, some emulators do get pretty big, and uh, then you need the system files for some uh, games. You can get those for free on the internet. Uh, you will need uh, keys also to decrypt games for some systems. You can also get those for free on the internet. Then you need games. You probably have a vague idea of how to get those. Just go on a website, solve a puzzle. Don't click on anything that isn't, uh, doesn't tell you exactly what it is. And uh, do click on any links that say verify. If they redirect you, do whatever you can to close um, the redirect window or tab. And if anything locks your computer and says you need to update your Windows system. No, you don't. No, you don't. What you do when that happens is you go Control Alt Delete, uh, and then you go to your task manager, close your browser, and try a different site. Um, as for actually playing games, you will need um, a pretty decent computer compared to the system you are running. If you're running a, a 10 or a 20 or 15 year old console you will need uh, a few yeah something was in in between my teeth you will need a few tens of gigabytes of storage and you're also going to need uh, uh you know probably a controller you're going to need to get a knowledge of how to set up the controller You'll probably figure that out in 20 or 30 minutes. Some emulators come pre-configured, some don't. Some do come pre-configured, but you have to mess with them anyway. Um, there are certain games that require motion controls, but you don't have to use motion controls if you absolutely despise the stuff. Uh, at least for some games. Certain emulators do let you use your mouse for motion controls. Uh, Dolphin, in particular, is a Wii emulator. You can just map motion to your controller. I don't know why you'd want to play it in the inferior way if it's a game available on your computer. Um, there's also Steam keys if you want to get your games very cheap. And piracy if you want to get your games for free. Um, piracy is pretty much the only efficient way to get games at all otherwise you're uh, otherwise you're getting physical media spending money that you really shouldn't be spending um and now you have to store something that's actually physical or you have a you know a plastic case that you put it in that you have to store right um uh, as for uh, making games look good, if you want to change the resolution of your games in any way, you will need a very, very good computer compared to the system you're trying to run. Like we're talking, it goes up from a couple, uh, <clears throat> from a couple, maybe five, ten times as good as the system you're running because you have to run a program and the game that the program is running. So it uses more processing power than just playing a game on your computer. <clears throat> what was I saying? Um, shit. Snapping my fingers here. Trying to get the idea in my head again. Oh yeah. Um, if you do want to make your graphics look better, you will need a computer that's about 
mm, I'd say 12, 15 times more powerful than the system you're trying to emulate because then on top of running a program, running a game, you're also using that program to push out more information than the game actually holds, right? You're upscaling the resolution, what, they, what, what the emulators call it. Taking, the, taking how many pixels the program packs together and telling your system to push that information through. Um, for me, 5K gaming is pretty easy, but I have, um, what is it? I have a ninth generation, no, 12th generation, uh, i9, 12900HK. My, my GPU is an RDX, RTX, let me enunciate, 3080 Ti. And it, its base is 2.6 gigahertz. It usually runs 50% or so faster, 3.7. 3.8, you know, um, you probably want to go for a system that has, let's say, base what my processor overclocks to. So like 3.5 or higher, right? If you want to get a lot of games, you're probably going to need a terabyte or two um, of storage to run the games, any... Uh, Anything you would use to organize the games, uh, you if you're gonna have games that are for a computer, you're definitely gonna need a terabyte or two of data because those come out to thirty or more gigabytes. At least, you know anything. What I'm thinking of is modern in the past decade or so. Um, if you want to run graphics packs. You're going to go from um, 10 to 12 times as powerful as the system you're running just to run the game inside the program from 12 to 15 times as powerful to upscale the resolution to maybe 16. No, 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 no. I said 12 to 20. Yeah. So that'd be like 20 to 20 four times as powerful as the system you're running if you want to use graphics packs. Because now your system also has to scan files in the memory and use all that memory that you're using to store the files. Um, most graphic packs don't take a full 32 gigabyte uh, memory. If they do, then they're poorly put together. Um, I'll say my computer uses 32 gigabyte uh, RAM, DDR5, if that matters at all. You will probably need a computer that has 32 or more gigabytes RAM if you're hoping to emulate very advanced systems in the next 5, 10 years or so, right? Uh, I don't know anything about generations of consoles because I don't keep up with anything fairly modern, right? But uh, PlayStation 4 and more powerful doesn't get emulated, right? At that point, you're just playing uh, PC ports of the games, uh, and that's better. If you can find a PC port of a game, usually it's better than emulating the system. Because there's all this additional setup and and boogaboo you have to do to mess around uh, just to set the game up. And then actually playing it, you know, it, you might not like it, right? Um, so I've covered so far... What was it? I've covered just emulating the games. I've covered getting the games. And I've covered upgrading the games. What else is there? I don't think there's much else. I've also covered cha-cha-cha. What's the word? I've also covered getting a game for cheap. Okay. I think that'll be it. A very short video, only 10.